Sussexes get brutal slap from Piers Morgan as the public spits at their sensational O interview. Prince Harry and Meghan's tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey didn't go down well with some of the audience at the National Television Awards and they weren't the only ones to get a boo at the event, Piers Morgan also got a reception worthy of a pantomime villain. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's sensational Oprah Winfrey interview was met by boos from some audience members during a montage of the best TV moments at last night's NTAs. The Duke of Sussex, 36, and Meghan, 40, were unable to attend the event, but their bombshell TV special, which featured a string of extraordinary claims, was in the running for a gong. Sir Trevor MacDonald introduced the montage featuring a clip with Harry and Meghan's interview and some of the audience turned sour with booing being heard around London's packed O2 arena. One audience member said, as soon as Meghan and Harry appeared on screen the audience started booing and then everyone joined in, it was really loud and funny. The montage, which was shown to mark the biggest national TV moments of 2020, also featured footage from the Covid crisis, and the funeral of Prince Philip. Harry and Meghan opted to stay at home in Los Angeles, in California, where they moved following the contentious Megxit process last year. Among the extraordinary claims given in the Oprah interview were allegations of concerns within the royal family about baby Archie's skin color. Meghan also alleged she felt suicidal, and received no help from the establishment. The interview was broadcast back in March and watched by more than 10 million viewers. The Royals clip wasn't the only one to spark a reaction from the audience, outspoken presenter Piers Morgan was also booed by some when a clip was shown of him in action on Good Morning Britain. However, the telly star insisted there were plenty of cheers as well. He posted on Twitter, last night's National Television Awards. Love the boos being drowned out by cheers. Ronaldo gets the same crowd reactions. The audience reacted to footage of Piers grilling former health secretary Matt Hancock during the early days of the pandemic. The Royals clip wasn't the only one to spark a reaction from the audience, outspoken presenter Piers Morgan was also booed by some when a clip was shown of him in action on Good Morning Britain. However, the telly star insisted there were plenty of cheers as well. He posted on Twitter, last night's National Television Awards. Love the boos being drowned out by cheers. Ronaldo gets the same crowd reactions. The audience reacted to footage of Piers grilling former Health Secretary Matt Hancock during the early days of the pandemic. The former presenter won the battle amid his long-standing feud with the Sussexes, with the media watchdog confirming Piers was entitled to give his opinions during the heated debate. Following the sensational win for free speech, he said Meghan wrote to his ITV boss Dame Carolyn McCall demanding his head on a plate, as the Duchess used her gender to get through to McCall, which Piers calls nauseating. Piers wrote in the Daily Mail, What has the world come to when a whiny fork-tongued actress can dictate who presents a morning television news program? It was preposterous that I had to leave a job I loved because I didn't believe a demonstrable liar. He added, make no mistake, this is a watershed moment in the battle for free speech. None of the couple's most sensational and damaging statements about racism and mental health have yet been supported by a shred of evidence amid furious denials from the royal family. So, my observation that I didn't believe Meghan Markle is looking stronger by the day. And for the record, I still don't believe her. Piers, 56, sensationally stormed off GMB in March after dismissing the legitimacy of Meghan Markle's claims to Oprah that she suffered suicidal feelings. Meghan and Harry personally lodged a complaint against Piers to ITV and Ofcom against his outburst. The Duchess made a direct complaint to the media watchdog, with Ofcom confirming at the time, we can confirm receipt of a standards complaint made on behalf of the Duchess of Sussex. But in a huge win for freedom of speech, Ofcom today said that restricting Piers Morgan's strong views would be an unwarranted and chilling restriction on freedom of expression.